Hi, how to extract invoice data really easily. So all you have to do is highlight it in Adobe Reader and that's it. You can extract it from the PDF into an Excel file and there can be multiple lines for each invoice for this example. You can do this with any invoice files. So to get started, all you do first is you just highlight the PDF up. So you open it in Adobe Reader or Adobe Acrobat click the highlight tool and then just highlight the things that you want. So I want invoice number, address, date and the total. And it's that simple. So now I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to open some software called PDF Data Extractor. I've got it here. And I'm going to drag and drop that file into software or you can just browse to it then I click on setup smart highlight setup and that will import those in I'm going to set my output file I'm going to set it to an XLS file for Excel but you can just do it to a CSV file if you want to click process it will go through each page and extract the information from each page so that is really really simple now as you can see the header is just highlight at the moment. I'll show you how to change that in a second. So to do it, run it again you can remove information and reset up and it would do it again. So that is really simple. So I'm now going to set the header. So I can do that in the PDF as well. So I can right mouse on the highlight properties. General. In the subject I'm going to put what it is. I'm going to do the same for address. And same for date. And same for total. And I'm also going to add tax as well. So I'm going to highlight that. So that's now set up. I'm going to save it. Go into the software. Click setup again. Smart highlight setup. So that's done. It's had a five this time because it's the tax. Click process. And it's that simple. So you can see all the ones that are extracted for each page and the amount of the output. Each page is actually the same in this PDF go down so that's why it's like that if it were different it would show different in the Excel now the one problem with this is that the total could move around the same with the tax you know could be more items make it move further down so to do this I just need to change the properties of these two to take it after the word total so always take the value after no matter where it is so I'm going to do tax first, right mouse properties. In general, I'm going to put after and then put tax. Okay, okay. And same with this one below, total. I'm going to put after total. Click this file save. Just click on setup, smart setup. Process. So now you can see it's picked out the numbers from there. So no matter where they are, it will pick it up. And that's it. Give it a try.